The next tool we're going to discuss is the Overlay Manager. The Overlay Manager tool allows a user to find, filter, sort, and interact with a specific icon or icon sets on the map, like a marker, shape, or route. Tap on the Overlay Manager tool located on the toolbar. In this tool, users can see different layer types, such as team, markers, data packages, navigation, shapes, hashtags, map controls, and other overlays. The icon located to the left of the layer type is known as the radial button. When the radial buttons are not highlighted green, this means there are no selected items within the submenu. The radial button can also be half green, indicating one or more items in the submenu is not selected. Tap on markers. There, the user may select which marker objects are shown on the map which will be indicated by a green radial button. This allows the user to filter markers on or off for use based on operational requirements. For multiple items of the same category, the user may access an additional submenu. To select which icons to display or to hide, simply tap on the associated radial button. This filtering method is the same for each layer within the overlay manager. To use a hashtag function, tap on hashtags in the Overlay Manager main menu. This function allows the user to create specific tags that can be used to filter and sort through multiple icons that have underlying tags. Tap the plus sign that is located on the top line of the window. Here, the user will then name the hashtag and click OK. The Add Hashtag window will appear. This allows the user to assign the hashtag to any icon on the map by selecting Map Select or Overlays. In the hashtag window, tap Map Select. Here, the user will simply tap on the desired icon for which to add the appropriate hashtag. Once assigned, tap Done, located on the top right of the window. To add a hashtag using overlays, Follow the same steps discussed using the map select method, but select overlays. Here, the user will select which layer within the overlay manager they wish to add the hashtag to. The user may select all icons within the layer or enter the submenu and select a specific icon to add the hashtag. Tap OK, located in the top right of the window. Tap the sticky tag symbol, which is located to the right of the plus sign. This allows a user to add a tag or multiple tags to items that are placed on the map. Every item placed on the map will have the associated sticky tag for each additional icon until the user deletes or changes which sticky tag is to be used. Select Done. The user can create a data package using the multi-select feature denoted by the four square button on the top line of the window. Data packages are used to consolidate icon sets to send to other users or upload onto the tag server. Tap Export Items button, then select Data Package. Select the layer and or individuals for the items in the data package, then export located on the top right of the window. Users now have the option to create a new data package or add to an existing data package. Tap on Create a New Data Package. Name the data package. Users are advised to include the letters DP in the file name for ease of searchability within the TAP server. Tap on Build. The newly created data package will now be located within the Overlay Manager. Tap on the multi-select button. The user may delete multiple existing overlays by selecting all of the items within the layer or by selecting a specific item within the submenu. After the items are selected, press Delete. A confirmation will appear for the user to select Yes or Cancel. This concludes the overview of the Overlay Manager tool.